Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the difference between a data stream and an action stream. So why we need to discuss about this data stream and an action stream? Now we are doing our sample project in a such a way that we need to filter the post according to the user selected category. So in order to do this scenario, we need to understand one, one concept. So that is the reason I am explaining about the action stream and an data stream. So let us go to this one. So let us present this one. Yeah. As we know that in our application, we are dealing with the observable stream. So whatever the posts or whatever the categories we are getting, we are getting through the observable stream only. All the things we are dealing with the observable data, and we are getting the and we are getting the and we are extracting the data from the observable using the async operator. So that is the common thing. First point you, you people have understood. Now you need to also understand that when we are dealing with the HTTP GET observable stream, so that means the HTTP GET request or anything, whatever the observables we are dealing with that are coming from the HTTP request. So what that HTTP GET observable stream will do, it emits only one item. That item is nothing but a response. So it will give you the response as an observable and then it completes immediately. So that's it. So it will not, it will, it will not re-execute again after complete. So if you want to re-execute again means you need to explicitly call that one. So that means whenever you are dealing with an HTTP GET observable stream, so it emits only one data that is all that is everything but response and it will immediately complete. That's it. That that work is completed. So the task is completed by that one. We can call these type of streams as a data stream. We can say that these type of streams as a data stream. So that also an observable stream only, but we can call this type of streams as a data stream. Why? Because so their task is to send the data and that's it. So it will complete where the stream emits data and completes. So it will send you, it will give you the data, whatever you require and it will complete, the task is completed. So those, those, those type of streams, we call it as a data stream. And you need to understand about then what is an action stream. Action stream is also a type of observable stream only, but it will emit the data anytime when an action occurs in our application, in our application. So if any action occurs, it the observable will emit the data. So here in our, in our application, the action is nothing but the selecting a category. So the user selects a category from the drop down list. So this is one action. So we can we can tell that this is an action. So the action is the user is selecting the category. Whenever the user selects the category, we need to immediately the observable, the action stream will invoke and will send that particular category ID as an observable. So this is a thing you need to understand. And now if I go here, so that is a thing. Action stream is that one. In our example, the user selects the category for filtering post. Yeah, we already know that I have shown you that the user selects the category for filtering post. We can think this selection as an action stream. So we can say that that type that selection is an action stream. So this category selection stream will be live always listening for the changes done on the drop down. So that means the streams which are active always and listening for the changes. So what, whatever the change it has been assigned. So always listening for the changes done in the drop down. If it is listening for the changes and whenever the user changes drop down, it is sending a data means. So that one is that that observable stream is live always. So that one we can call it as an action stream. Whereas the data stream, it will send you the data and it will complete. But this action stream will never complete. So it will always listen to the data, whatever the action that has been performed by an user. So we can use the combined latest, okay? So using this data stream and an action stream, so we can use combined latest operator. So with the post and the selection category stream. So that means with the data stream and also with an action stream, we can combine, we can use the combined latest operator so that any of the stream emits the data, it will execute. So here in this data stream and action stream, so if you combine both the observables, so the data, the data stream will emit the data and it will complete. but so that one is completed. So data is emitted the data. Now, when this action stream, so what I can say is whenever with this action stream emits the data, immediately it will re-execute that combined latest filtering all the posts from the uh, filtering all the posts according to that particular category ID. So whatever the action it has emitted, so it will it will filter out the, it will re-execute the logic again. So we, when we use this combined latest. So whenever the combined latest executes, whenever the combined latest executes, we can have the post and also the latest category selection that has that the user has been. 
So now when the combined latest executes means we can have the post data which is already got with the data stream and also the latest category selection so which the uh, which the user has selected so we will get the latest data also that the user has made and we can combine these both things and we can filter out the posts so using this combined latest. Now the concept what we have uh, uh, so well, now we understood the logic so we can uh, have we, we have the data stream as an observable and we know that we need to get the user selected category as an as an action stream that is nothing but an observable now to convert the user selected category into an observable stream so now when the user selects the drop down so you need to convert into an observable stream so that we can combine both the streams so that one we can use two types of things in the rxjs from event and also subject or behavior subject from event also uh, from event we have previously learned about this from event why because so whenever I, whenever any changes occurs in our rxjs course whenever any changes occurs i am using this from event and i will pass that document dot get element by id so for that element into this from event so this from event is a nothing but an action stream so whenever the user selects the data or whenever the user changes that element whenever the user writes in inputs or anything so this from event will be fired so this is an action stream or otherwise the second option is the subject or the behavior subject by using this subject or behavior subject also we can convert the user selected category into an observable stream so let's try to see how we can use this subject or behavior subject you may get it out so now we know that as we know that in our rxjs course we have learned that observable is a unique cast whereas the subject or behavior subject is a multicast so observable is a unique cast means so one subscriber can have the one observable only so each observable will be executed separately for each subscriber whereas that multiple subscribers can share one stream so one observable will be there so whereas one observable can be subscribed by the multiple subscribers so that the data which is coming from the observable can be shared for between all the subscribers so that is the difference between the unicast and the multicast so using this subject so we can we will create a subject and you know that the subject behaves both as an observable and also an observer so that is the main concept so now using this subject we will convert this user selected category into an observable stream so in a subject whenever the user selects the category we will throw we, we will send using the next operator in subject and the in the uh, using that behavior subject only we will create an observable okay so this is how we will be filtering the uh, we will be using this combined latest operator so between the data stream and the action stream so here you need to understand about the difference between this data stream and an action stream so both the data stream and an action stream are one and the same only those are uh, one and the same means those are observable stream only but the main difference is data stream will emit the data and it will complete whereas the action stream will be live through uh, in the application so whenever the user selects an action or anything performs an action so the data will be emitted through the action stream so this is all about the data stream and action stream so now we will see the practical implementation how we can implement this data stream and action stream in our application hope you understood about this uh, data stream and action stream if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you